Landon and I earlier today went deep into the Everglades searching for invasive pythons. We're off and away, guys! If we get stranded, we're in the Everglades! But we got to the spot. We're here. Guys, guys, do you see this? Look at this. There's a baby python right here. Look. We found a nest. Dude. There's a nest with a python oh. on it. This is one large python. Large, but very skinny. A lot of these eggs are just totally rotten. We've got egg number one right here. Landon's behind the knife, and well, we're gonna start cutting them open. That one looks like a good egg. That looks like a good yolk sack. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh, uh, even oh. more developed one. Oh. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. For today's video, Landon and I earlier today went deep into the Everglades searching for invasive pythons and we found just that. Not only did we find invasive pythons, we found a big mama python on a nest full of eggs. If you want to see us catch the mom, remove the eggs and actually cut the eggs open and see what was inside, well, you're going to have to stick along for today's video to find all of that out. But before we hop into today's video, I have a special message from today's sponsor. And today's video is sponsored by Filmora. I often get asked by a lot of aspiring content creators, what editing software do I use? They ask, do I use Final Cut Pro? Do I use Adobe Premiere? Well, I don't use any of those. I like to use Filmora. And the reason why I like to use Filmora is, well, I'm a simple guy. Other softwares such as Adobe Premiere and Final Cut, well, they are very complicated. I have sat down for hours and hours trying to learn both of those softwares. And well, when I've done so, I have had no luck. The reason why Filmora is so great is it is just so easy and so basic to use. But it is packed full of incredible features that you get on premium software. And if you are wondering what those features are, well, I'm gonna show you them right now. With Filmora, using effects such as titles is as easy as grabbing, dragging, dropping in place, and it is ready to go, seamless and perfect. And when it comes to effects, you literally click on the effects, pick your effect out, grab it, drag it, drop it, we're downloading, now, once your effect is downloaded, that's it. You literally just swipe on over, click play, and your effect is there and in place. It is absolutely amazing. If any of you are interested in downloading Filmora, which I highly suggest you do, if you're an aspiring filmmaker, already a YouTuber, and you want new editing software, you want something that's easier and just as good as the other ones, well, what are you waiting for? Go right down below, hit that link, and you guys will get Filmora for free. And now that I got to tell all of you a little bit about our awesome sponsor for today's video, it is finally time to hop into today's crazy Python adventure. Guys, I am in the truck now with Landon. Landon's on driving duty, and well, we are in Python virgin territory. We're in oh. Africa, look at this. Yeah, yeah, guys, we're literally, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, we, we're literally in Africa, look at this. Do we're literally in the middle. <laughs> but anyways, we are almost at the ramp, so I'll be back with all of you once we're in the water. We're off and away, guys! If we get stranded, we're in the Everglades, so if we get stranded, just know, we're in the Everglades! We're out here now. Landon is on top. Landon is the captain for today. Landon's kind of scouting some areas. So if you guys look, we are literally in the middle of the Everglades. We're in a canal and all around us is untouched virgin land. Land that no man has ever really stepped on before. At least a lot of these areas. Some of them people have been on, but some of them they have not. So basically what we're looking for today is, you know, big mama pythons and baby pythons. It is baby season now. So basically what we're doing is we're just cruising this canal all the way up. We're trying to find a nice little open area, a dry spot. A lot of these pythons do not make it to the areas that we normally hunt. They stay out here on Python Island. So hopefully we'll find a clearing on Python Island where we can get out and catch some snakes. Guys, we just found a clearing. We just found a nice little open area. I don't know if you can see it right there. There's an open dry area and it kind of just opens up right back in there. I mean, I mean, this looks like the spot. This looks like the place where we're gonna get out and hunt. And hopefully once we get out, we can find us some pythons. But we got to the spot. We're here. This is our first step stepping foot onto this territory. Yep, this is the first time. I mean, we may be the first people ever to have ever stepped here, but we just pulled the boat up. We're gonna tie the boat up to one of these little young trees right here, just so the boat doesn't float away. That would just, uh, that would not be fun. We're tied up, we're ready to go. The boat is in a perfect secret little nook here in the canal. And well, we've arrived. We're here at Python Island. Now, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to find, but all I know is this area is perfect Python territory. I mean, look around us. I mean, there's Landon. Landon's over there, and well, I think we're gonna split up. I'm gonna go that way. We're gonna stay kind of close to each other, only a couple of hundred feet. So if I see something, I can shout to Landon, and if Landon sees something, he can shout to me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to walk around and see what we can find. 
So basically what I'm doing now, we're just searching this tree line, we're scanning it because these pythons are going to hang out in the thick, dense woods. And when they're sunning, they're going to come out here into the kind of open area. So we're just going to check this nice and good and hopefully we'll find us a python. So it's been now about 20 minutes and well, we have yet to see anything on this python island. So Landon is back in the boat already and well, I'm going to hop on the boat and well, me and Landon are going to head to a new island. Landon, what'd you see over there, bro? Hold on, nothing whole lot of it, nothing. So what does that mean? That means we got to head to Python Island number two. One hour later. We're arriving at Python Island number two. We're, this is a pretty dense spot, but I see there's a little pathway through there. And you can see, I mean, we're in the thick of it. We're literally deep in the Everglades. We're going to go right through that trail and landing. What do you think we're going to find here, bro? Hopefully some more Gatorade. This stuff is really good. R Guys, we have arrived at Python Island number two. And well, Landon's back there. I'm searching around. I'm looking and hopefully we can find some stuff. I mean, all this area is pretty similar. I mean, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the deep Everglades. And well, you never know what we're going to find. So guys, guys, do you see this? Look at this. There's a baby python right here. Look, that's the skin of a baby invasive Burmese python. But you can see if you just take a step back, just how well he camouflaged. He is right there, but right here, you would not even be able to tell. Guys, I'm freaking out. My first time coming to a python island, and there's a baby python right in front of me. This is absolutely amazing. Guys, go comment down below what you think of this, because this is just absolutely epic. Oh my goodness, look at this little guy. There's his head, where's his head? Oh my gosh, look at him slithering along. Look at this little beauty. All right, we're just gonna go, and I'm gonna grab him. Just like this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Landon, Landon! Baby python, baby python, just pulled him out of the grass. Woo! Look at this little guy. This little guy is so, so cute. Uh, um, I don't I'm he, I don't see you, but I'm, I'm here. Can you see my arm? I got a python. This right here is a baby python. Now, for the most part, the baby pythons are not too mean. They don't bite. Landon, look what we just found oh here in the grass. Oh my gosh. Look at this little baby. What look. the heck? Guys, this is a gorgeous invasive Burmese python baby. I mean, this is a little hatchling. Probably just came out of the egg maybe a day or so. Maybe only even a couple of hours, but look at them. But as you can see, when these guys come out, you can see that they blend in so incredibly well to the environment. And you can see that at just a hatchling size, they're bigger than most native snakes. I mean, Landon, this little guy's got to be what? Like 18 inches? Here, take them. Landon and I are back at the boat and we have the little tiny baby python that we just caught on Python Island. Now, unfortunately, we cannot take this guy alive. So what we're going to do now is, well, unfortunately, we're going to have to humanely euthanize this poor little baby python and continue searching for Big Mama. The baby is now humanely euthanized. And well, we are searching around this area because if there's one baby, there is probably another. So we're going to continue searching around and hopefully we can maybe find this nest. Oh there's, my gosh. We found a nest. Dude. There's a nest with a python oh, on it. My oh my goodness. This is insane, bro. Hold on, bro. She's, sh she's like shedding. She's pulling me yeah, into she's those. she's literally shedding. This is a big snake, dude. Hold on, hold on, dude, hold on. Dude, okay, okay. Can you take this? Yeah, bro. Dude, Landon, you need to get this snake. Dude. Dude, this is insane. How big is this snake? Guys, go right now and how comment down below oh, how big you think this be. python is. Look at that. Dude, Look, we found her... a python with eggs. Oh, dude, her clutch of eggs. Hold on, hold on. She's dude, coming out. Oh. She's coming she out is. slow. She's coming out slow and steady. Bro, Dude, grab her. Here, let me help you out. Coming. Let me give you a hand. She's coming. Oh, go. God, look. No. Look what it she just did. It must get pooped all over Lana. Oh, she, oh it's on my hand. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Oh, my. This thing gosh. is big. That's a big size python. This is python. a big python. Wow. Guys, we just found a python on a nest. Oh, she wow. just pooped again. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Guys, this is insane. This python is look really dark in colors because she's in the middle of her shed. But look at her. You can see just how well she blends in. If you just pull up from here, you can see she blends in just so incredibly well. I mean, Landon, this is amazing to find she's this. In. Guys, this is a huge find for us. I mean, it, there's not many people that actually get to find python nests. Very few people have done it. And Landon, I'm glad to say that now we, we're, we're a part of that crew. Dude, we, we found a python oh nest. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Look at this snake. All right, Landon. Well, wow, I say she's so skinny, man. Yeah, so skinny. You can see just how skinny she is. She's been laying on these eggs and Landon. Well, I think what we should do now as well. I think we should grab this snake, humanely euthanize her. And dude, I think we should cut the eggs open. Dude, look at those eggs. There has to be like 30 yeah. eggs. Yeah, right there. there has to be about 30 python eggs. And well, I think we should cut them open and see if there's baby snakes. Landon's going in. Go three, two, one. Nice. Pull her back out. Pull her back out and she's not being too crazy. I'm not gonna be too wild with her. Yeah. Oh, she almost oh. Tried, she tried to bite you. Ooh. Go go for the grab. Nice, bro. Ah. 
You did it. Look at that. Did you get that on video? Yeah, man. Yeah, I got that on video. I don't know video. if I got it. Look at that python. Look wow. at those teeth. Look at this beauty of a python. I mean, Landon spotted this one. I mean, just absolutely amazing. And as you can see, this is one large python. Large, but very skinny. I mean, just look at her right here. She's a big girl. Look at her right here. And you know what's protecting me from the elements, protecting me from these python? It's the Jacob's World new merchandise. Guys, I'm wearing this out in the field. If this hat and this shirt is good enough for python hunting, well, then it's gonna be good enough for all of you guys. Guys, again, if you wanna get Jacob's World merch, go right down below after the video's over. Get the merchandise, it's great. All the proceeds from this merchandise are going towards animal care and animal enclosures. The merchandise is limited. We've been selling a lot of it. There's not that much left. There's a good amount of it, but there's not enough. So if you guys are on the fence, guys, make sure to go order your merch right now. JacobFetter.com. Get your merch today. Now that we caught this big girl, what we have to do is we have to humanely euthanize her. Unfortunately, this is a terrible animal for our environment. We have eggs there. We probably have close to 30 eggs, 30 invasive predators. So we're going to humanely euthanize this girl and then, oh my gosh, she is mad right now. She is one mad python. What we're gonna do is once we humanely euthanize her, we're going to go through the nest and cut the eggs open and maybe we'll find some baby pythons. We got big mama humanely euthanized and well, you know what we're doing now? We are pulling all of the python eggs. We gotta pull them all out. Landon already started with the eggs, so we're just gonna continue pulling. Oh wait, dude, look at this one. This one's already hatched. Oh, dude. Dude, there's some baby pythons. We had an escapee. We had an escapee. Look at that little python egg already hatched. There that goes. And we're just gonna continue pulling the eggs out until we have them all out. They're smelly, they're rotten. Dude, these I mean, things, I don't know what happened to these. Yeah. Maybe it was the ants that got to them. Maybe it was a little bit wet. Yeah, a lot of these eggs are just totally rotten. As you can see, they should be white, but they're like a yellow color, so I'm sure. Hard. Yeah, most of them are probably dead. There's probably not gonna be any pythons in them. But yeah, dude, this is insane. We got ourselves a python nest. Before we count, I want you guys to stop what you're doing and go comment down below how many python eggs are in this pile. We're counting right now. I would have to guess there's maybe 20 to 25 eggs. I'm not sure, but we're going to count out and let all of you know. Would you look at that? We have all of the eggs lined up. We have 27 python eggs. Now, pythons can typically have anywhere from, you know, 25 all the way up to 100 eggs. So this is like a somewhat decent sized clutch. Me and Landon are here right now. We have our trusty knives and well, we're going to go and cut each and every one of these eggs open. We're gonna see if there's baby pythons inside because unfortunately, we cannot leave them out here to wreak havoc on our native wildlife. We've got egg number one right here. Landon's behind the knife and well, we're gonna start cutting them open. Now we wanna do it gently so obviously we don't damage any snakes. We wanna take them out live. All right, so we're trying to cut as gently as possible. Yeah, we're trying to cut open as gently as possible, see what we can find. Ooh, Ooh there's some nasty liquid in Ooh, there, nasty guys. goo. Ooh. Oh, it's stinky. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my There's a goodness. little baby python in there. Look at that premature python. Is he alive? No chance. Oh I don't gosh. think so. Oh my gosh. Look, Look at that. what is inside one of these eggs, guys. A little baby premature python. This is absolutely amazing. Dude, to find this, this is so crazy. Dude. Oh my goodness. Look, you can see the pattern in it. It's just, it's almost finished developing. It probably would have hatched, I would say in a week, maybe two weeks. I don't really know how to gauge it, but look at that. That is officially the smallest python I've ever seen. I kind of want to keep this for like a jar or something. It's just so cool. Then you have all of this egg content here that he would have continued to take in until he fully developed and took up that whole space. We're now on to egg number two. Since Landon's hands are already really nasty, really Ooh. slimy, Landon's going to be the one to open them up. That one looks like a good egg. That looks like a good yolk sac, bro. There might be another baby python in there. I don't know. Dude. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh, uh, even oh. more developed one. Oh my, oh my goodness, look, look at that. At that oh my guys. gosh, guys. This is insane. Look at this baby. This is amazing. That is crazy. Let's see if we can find his head. Oh my in gosh. There. Look at that. That is crazy, guys. Now, guys, this is the craziest find. So, if you look at him right now, Ooh. this right here is actually his yolk sac. So, he is inside of this small embryonic Dude, we need sac. To, we need to keep him in this. We need to keep him in this for like a jar or something. That yeah. is just too cool. I almost don't want to break him apart just yet. 
Maybe. No, no, no. Let's keep him in there. We're actually yeah, we're, gonna take we're him gonna, back. Yeah, we're gonna take him back. We're gonna put Just that one. Just like that. Yeah, guys, again, we're not live transporting this egg. This guy is totally dead. He is not going to make it because we obviously cut the egg open. It is now time for me to cut open an egg. I'm really excited to see. I can see that there's some good gel. If you see this goo, that's how you know it's not a rotten egg when it's got that really nice, good, clear liquid. So we're gonna find the hole right there. And we're just gonna cut it open just like this. We're just gonna kind of make a slice just as so. And let's open it up. Oh, oh another baby goodness. python in there. Now this is an underdeveloped python, but if you look, he's still kind of in his embryotic yolk sac. The python will develop in a small sac. As you can see, and once he's actually done developing, he'll actually breach through a little hole. As you can see right here, this is the hole that he would kind of breach from. And you can see he's just starting to get his pigment. He's just starting to get his color. But obviously this snake is not alive. He's not really moving around. And this is an, more of an underdeveloped python. You can see he's kind of got that clear skin. His real brown dark colors have not come in yet. But it really is just amazing to come out here and find these animals and remove them before they become invasive monsters. Landon and I have had just an incredible day. It is our first time here at Python Island, and look at that. We have baby pythons in the eggs. I never thought we were going to find this, but you know, we are so incredibly blessed to be out here and be able to find the most amazing things. Look at this stuff. We got more. Oh, you. Oh, you got rotten juice. I gooped him. It's getting yeah. hot out right now. The sun is out. So what we're going to do Not now is, go. well, yeah, we're, we're heading out and we're going to go home. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. We are pushing off from Python Island number two. And of course, it paid off. We were able to find a 10-foot mama and 27 eggs. Now, none of the babies were alive except one. We're not entirely sure if the live baby came from that clutch, but all we know is we removed some terrible invasive predators from the Everglades ecosystem. Guys, if you enjoyed today's crazy video, please make sure to go give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to go comment down below what you thought. And if you guys are not subscribed already, you want to see more pythons, tigers, lions monkeys all kinds of crazy stuff well what are you waiting for go right now hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever i post